damn. Yep. Damn. <laughs> yep. Damn. And then you did that? And then she did that? Yeah, pretty much. It's crazy. And your mom and dad don't know yet? Nope. Well, maybe it's time that they did. Okay, look, I know it's not easy and you've been through some stuff. You've been through some shit, like a lot of shit. Like, ooh, that's scary shit. But look, you got through it. And you're stronger than you think. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. Well, no. who'd have known that any of this would happen to all of no. us? To either of us, mm -hmm. okay? I'm just happy that we're talking. I guess. I mean, I am. <laughs> <laughs> You ready to go? Oh, all right. You refilling bus? No, I'm just I'm trying to manage it better. Mm. Okay, okay. You know what? You probably, you probably grown, we grown. You know what? Fuck it. What's another shot? Mm. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Let's go. I'm gonna go on that. I'm not finishing this. Bet you buy. to connect more. Um, my best friend and I recently had a falling out and we reconnected. And how does it feel to have reconnected with that person? Uh, I'm actually happy about it. Is that surprising to you? Well, he's been in my life a really long time, longer than most people. And when we started drifting apart, I kind of saw it coming. And I'm not gonna lie, there was a part of me for a while that might have been okay if we didn't talk again. But when we did, it's like I realized the pain that we both shared. He was the only one who knew about what was going on with my relationship and my sexuality. Mm. And how do you imagine your life would be if you hadn't reconnected with him? I would feel so alone, but I think also relieved. Mm. Cause we were on a loop. It felt like we were just drinking to forget, and then we'd wait around and then toast to the hard times again. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe this time apart was needed. Sometimes it can be helpful to take a step back and reassess who is in our lives. It doesn't necessarily mean we kick everyone out and start over, or it can. But we have agency over who or what we give our precious energy to. Well, I mean, Guillermo was the only person that I could talk to about these things. Mm -hmm. And most of the things I would allow myself to talk about made me sad. Mm -hmm. And from what you mentioned earlier, it sounds like you turned to alcohol to cope. Yeah, I guess so. Mm -hmm. But it feels like we're slowly trying to just be without it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, that, that's why I don't get with jealous people. Why yell at your girlfriend, especially when your girlfriend's talking to someone, thank you, as pretty as Erin? Right, yeah, right. Oh, no, thanks, I'm good. Yeah, you don't know me. So... Oh, damn, she's oh. going in. You are, you stupid bitch. Ooh, Jenny, she kind of looks like you. Uh, whatever. Yeah, I'm glad at least you guys watch this, too. Oh, you know what? I got to give you props. I've been trying to get her to watch this for the longest time. Well, I mean, I wasn't sure if it was for me or if someone here would give me a hard time about it. Hey, when do Aaron and Ray get together? Oh, don't count. <gasps> and when do Luca and Peyton come in? Girl, that's Fortnite. How do you know more about this oh than I do? Oh my gosh, she's going to get her gay card removed. Hello, Lola. 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 Mm. Well, y'all keep having fun. It was nice seeing you guys. Nice to see you. Okay, see you later. I don't want to have a little bit of 
You talk so loud. He's always like this. I, I know. Oh my God. No, but for real though, when are they gonna get together? So how has the past week been for you? Well, lately some of the days have been a little better. I don't think I've really been listening to music. It reminds me of a lot. The quiet is still noisy for me. <sighs> How do you mean? Images and hypothetical situations flood my mind. And as soon as I move, it's like my body is going, but I forget what I was gonna do almost immediately. I guess I'm just scared that someone's gonna just hit me with more bad news or that I'll come home and my dad will know everything and then, and then I just wanna curl up into a ball and sink through the floor. But this feeling probably isn't new, but at least I can just call it out now. And that is a huge step. It's a testament to you coming here and prioritizing the emotional and physical work outside of our sessions. You're starting to gather your tools so that these instances don't spiral. And it's not weakness. As queer brown women, we are sometimes taught to repress a lot. But all of this is human. Like you said, there are good days and there are rough days. Mm -hmm. But you can lean on these tools that you're developing. Damn, and when would this new program start? Next semester. Fuck, we'll do it. Easier said than done, dude. Okay, well, you don't really lose anything for applying for it. Okay, well, $50, but you know it's new. I don't know. I've been looking at it, but it's out of state. It's a little pricey. And it's what you want. The worst thing that they can happen is that they can decline your ass. And if they say yes? Oh, then we're packing up and we're road tripping over Shh. to yo. Shh, my parents might hear you. Well, you don't think they might be happy about it? They think I'm at school right now. Right. Okay, but honestly, dude, don't take this the wrong way, but, like, what's keeping you here? What are you gonna do if I leave? Mm hmm? Well, I'll request time off, and I'll help you move, and we'll buy a bottle to celebrate. Cause we independent folk now. Mm, do it. <laughs> okay, so... There's a part of me that's afraid to embrace myself. In what way? Damn, it's always been something that I struggled with. Either I am too feminine to be gay, or the, I'm the ideal candidate, or my Spanish is not good, so I must not be Mexican enough. And damn, that's just a couple of examples there. Yes, it can be frustrating. Society loves to categorize and label. <sighs> Truthfully though, no one fits in a little box because humanity is complex and imperfect. But sometimes folks internalize these expectations, which can lead to a lot of emotional grief. Yeah. Your journey is your own, and you are worthy and enough. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> Just because I haven't experienced the same things as other people doesn't mean my own experience is somehow invalid. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've seen all the radical self-love posts on IG, but it's still hard to put that into practice or to be consistent about it. And then I just get frustrated with it all. Well, you're here talking to me, so you're practicing it in this way right now. I saw you take a deep breath earlier before we started talking. That's practicing it. You can give yourself credit. You can prioritize your needs and wants. But if my wants or needs become a burden for someone else, I'd rather just make sure that they're okay first. You're not alone in that. Particularly with an immigrant background like ours, it can feel like we're all struggling when one of us is. And we all need to succeed in order for us to move forward as a group. But sometimes we end up suffocating in silence because we're afraid that what is progress for us as an individual might be perceived as a threat by the family. Yeah, so... What if... What if helping myself becomes an even bigger problem? I don't want to make things any more difficult than they already are. 
Well, how can you tell with 100% certainty that it will make things more difficult? And for whom? Maybe it will bring relief. Or maybe it will cause tension at first, or not. We can't control other people's reactions, including the people we love. Because other people's reactions are usually rooted in their own experiences. By helping yourself, that'll give you a chance to help the people you care about. On a plane, you have to put on the oxygen mask first, right? Right. Mm. Jasmine! Ben pa ka! What's up, Dad? I just got off the phone with the admissions office, trying to get a head start on next semester's bill. Oh, thanks, but why would you do that? It's only available after I register. That's not the point. Why did they tell me that you defaulted on this semester's balance? That you're not enrolled? I thought you took care of it. Uh, you know how they are. They never update those things on time. Don't lie to me. Jasmine, where have you been this entire time then? Hey, contestame! Okay, you wouldn't understand. We're out there breaking our backs to make sure we give you everything. Meanwhile, you're out there doing who the hell knows what? Mirándonos la cara de abajosos! I would, I couldn't tell you because I knew you and What Mom wouldn't was... we understand? I've been seeing a therapist the past couple weeks. I, I paid for it using the money that I got from the truck. It's been a big help for me. So not only have you been lying to us, but you've been wasting money on something as useless? Because of this! I've been going through some things, okay? And it's hard to talk to you and mom about it because you just jump to conclusions. Or you make it about you. Or you just think it's a waste of time because it's different. So it's my fault you're crazy. See? You're doing it right now. I have always pushed everything down like you do, but it's not helpful for me, Dad. It's not fine. I am not fine. And I'm tired of screaming inside pretending that I am. Look, I don't talk to you and Mom about this because I'm afraid to disappoint you or not live up to your expectations or burden you with more. When have I ever told you that you can't come directly to me if you have problems? Or that you're a disappointment. Well, sometimes I just want to talk about things that don't have an answer. Or at least the answer that you want to hear. We've been taught that all we got to do is work hard at a job every day and that our problems will just take care of themselves eventually. But they don't. They don't just disappear. They just stay hidden until they can't be anymore. Look, Dad. You taught me how to survive. And I love you for that. But I see you sometimes too. Look, you're always tired and your body hurts because yeah, you work hard at a job, right? But it's also from what you carry. So you know what? If you don't get why I'm doing this right now, that's okay. Because I got it. Dad. Dad. Some days the simplest things take all the effort in my being, and then other days I just glide through and then there's everything in between. But now I can sense the difference in how I can just allow my feelings to be there. And the thoughts and the fears, they're still there and they might never go away, but I think recognizing that has opened up my potential for joy. Like, I'm creating this space within me for all of it. And that spaciousness is helping me participate in my life. And there's still a lot to work through in our own time, but, but damn, I'm gonna say it. I am really proud of myself for taking this step. <laughs> Look at you. I'm so happy to be seeing the progress that you're making. And yes, the more that you recognize that life is an imperfect process, the more your work will serve you and those around you. Keep taking care of yourself. Thank you. Mm -hmm. See you next week? Yeah, uh, same time.
Or it could be tomorrow. Or right now. I'm just gonna stay here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm leaving, okay? I'll see you next week. So. Unless you're not. Uh, I'm out. That's fine. <laughs>